Hello and welcome to your favorite fashion and style show called Gear Up. Now today is an exciting day because we have Kim Eleanor from Eleanor's Touch and she's going to show us how to do makeup. As you can see my face is looking glammed up. I've got the glitter eyeshadow going on and I am looking so hot. We're in the garden today and she's going to tell us what makeup is and how we can put the best makeup for our faces, for our different complexions, our different characters and our different styles. So I'm so excited and I know you are too, so stay tuned. Hello Kim and welcome to the show. Hi Valerie, how are you? I'm fine, thank you. I am so excited to have you here today. I am so excited as well. Mm -hmm. And we have a lot to talk about. We do. So Kim, please tell us who is Kim and what is Eleanor's Touch? Alright, so my full name is Kimberly Eleanor and Eleanor is Eleanor's Touch. That's where I got the name Eleanor's Touch. So Eleanor's Touch is a makeup brand initially, but it's going to build into a large beauty empire. So that's what I'm actually aspiring to do. So it's going to have hairdressing, it's going to have massage therapy, it's going to have clothes, it's going to be epic, it's going to have counselling. So yeah, pretty. I've got pretty big plans. So when exactly did you start and what motivated you to stay in this industry? Okay. So I would say that I started like when I was really, really young, but I just didn't have, you know, I, I just hadn't perfected that skill yet. And then in my adolescence and my O level, I still wanted to do makeup, but then I still didn't really know. You know, I remember when I was really young, I put like green eyebrows, you know, I try like, you know, smooth on my mom's lipstick all over. But you know, as time went on with the help of YouTube, you know, the internet has helped me, true, true. But I feel like if you've got the heart for it, then eventually you'll turn it into something that you actually, you know, love. So, you know, that's where I started from and um, that's where I am right now. And I'm motivated to do this because like I said, I'm an artistic individual. I love art. So anything that includes color, that includes, you know, patterns and whatever, it just, I forget everything that's around me and I zone out on that. And it's an absolutely amazing feeling. So what are some of the challenges that you face as a makeup artist? Um, what do people say about your skill, your craft? And I think it would be interesting to know your parents as well. What do they think? I would say um, some of my challenges are when people think about makeup, you know, most people in general, they're like, oh, well, it's associated with promiscuity, it's associated with immoral behavior, it's like you're looked at, you're viewed at as this, you know, I, I don't want to say any deep words, but I'm sure people understand what I'm saying. People don't really take you seriously. So those are some of the challenges, that's the main challenge. And when you know, you're trying to put a price or whatever, people don't really understand the different stages because makeup has evolved from just foundation and eyeliner. There's so many things that are included now. So you really have to just strive to show people. But if it's something that you love, you will show them and you will experience you know, less and less challenges. So would you kindly take us through your success journey? Tell us about your success. What have you gone through? What have you achieved? Okay, so in the short space of time since I started, I've already done your face. Like, you know this right now, I've done your face. And what that has done is so many models are coming to me and they're asking me, they're interested in my work. Okay, so I started from a salon, like a small little salon, and I was doing the client's faces for free or whatever I can do. And from that, people weren't really so sure of me, but I feel like from there, I had my first client and I remember putting that first food in church and from there, it just took off, you know, bit by bit. You know, I started doing like for free. Basically, when you're starting out, you have to do it for free for most of the time. So, and then when I do someone's face, they refer to somebody else, then they come, then I do their face, they pay me, next person comes, next person comes. Before you know it, I've just done a wedding, the beginning of December, and that was a very, you know, special experience for me. I was so tired, it was very tiring, and I had to do like, you know, from 3 a.m. to 8, non-stop. But I'm busy, but I'm busy with something that I love. And furthermore, I'm getting, you know, a large following on my Instagram, Facebook, people are seeing me, people are more, more and more interested in what I'm doing. So I'm really excited and henceforth I'm here with you today. So wow. I'm excited for the future. Wow. Yeah. That is, that is beautiful. Huge. That is beautiful. <laughs>
Well, there you have it. Kim just told us that she nurtured her makeup talent from primary school. This just goes to show us that parents should support their children because when your child has a skill, she's, that child is going to grow up and probably show you your skill. So, uh, you know, I'm looking good today. As I said, my face was done by Kim and she's done my face for many things, including the Zimbabwe Model Awards. So, um, you know, she's, she's, she's really good. So stay tuned to the second segment because this time she's going to show us her work and how she creates such a face. Welcome back to our show, Gear Up. And now we're in our second segment, and Kim is going to take us through a quick tutorial on Ruvimbo's face, our beautiful model here, Ruvi. Nice face you have. Um, so, Kim, take us through. Alright, then. So, Ruvimbo, how are you? I'm good, Kim. How are you? I'm fine. So, what I've done is I've started with one half of a face, so you can clearly see what I'm going to do on the next half of a face. So, this is a bare face. I've only put foundation only. So, I'm going to basically do what's here, there. Okay, so what you do before you do anything, you brush the eyebrows upward, slanting towards the opposite direction. This is just so that um, you align them properly because sometimes they're just all over the place. Then what you do is start with below the brow. You're just creating the shape that you want below. Uh -huh. And then you create the arch. So if you can see, I am just, you know, doing what her eyebrow allows me to do. That is, I'm using the same shape and I can either enlarge it or make it smaller, but in this case, I'll enlarge it a little bit. Then I'm going to use a very gentle hand, just going as fast as I can go so I can show you what I'm trying to talk about here. So make sure you don't have a heavy hand because Rainbow is a more natural person. So you don't want to spook her out. Okay, so already you can see the outlining of the eyebrow. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to brush so that I can blend. Can you see how that just works? The moment you brush, everything just goes in line with everything else. So I'm just going to perfect just a little bit over here. I'm trying not to be a perfectionist. and this bro is just about done now I'm going to tidy it up with some concealer using my angled brush and my LA girl pro concealer yeah this is in the shade cool tan Again, just trying to go as fast as I can go, but this is something that you want to do when you're not rushing because you don't want to make a mistake. Eyebrows, if you fail to do eyebrows, you fail to do everything else. That's how I view it personally. So you want to go as, you want to be as careful as you can. So I'm basically just tidying up below her eyebrow here. I'm going to add more. Again, trying to go as fast as I can. Just to show a quick and easy way you can um, look good. So after you put, apply the concealer, you pull it downward. After you pull it downward, you're just gonna use a blending brush. Whichever brush you feel comfortable using. And I'm just gonna blend everything Blend, blend, blend. Good. I'm excited. <laughs> exactly. I hope it. I hope you love the finished look. All right. So basically, the eyebrow is done. Now we're gonna move on to the eyelid. So I'm applying concealer as a primer for my eyeshadow, and I'm gonna again blend. 
Again, I'm not trying to put excess product because he's a more natural, you know, person, so I don't want to spook her out. Try not to spook yourself out as well. <laughs> there we go. And then I'm going to set it using what I'd say my foundation brush, but I'm using it to apply setting powder. The thing with makeup, you just have to use whatever makes you comfortable. Um, there is no, it's not a strict environment. This is art. So if you feel like perhaps a powder brush in this crease can do it for you, then it's fine on this, on this eyelid. And that's done. Then we're gonna move on to the eyeshadow. Taking my eyeshadow from the Morphe palette and going in with this color using a Naked 2 brush. It's got the blending side and the flat side. So I'm gonna go in the blending side and just pop that color on her outer crease. Going in, going in. And I'm gonna go in with this color as well. Yeah. Just to create an illusion of a mixture of colors. As I go in with the eyeshadow, you're gonna um, you, there's a risk that you're gonna put eyeshadow all over her cheeks. So at least if I highlight her face and then I apply setting powder, when I dust it off, nothing would be, you know, disturbed. So again, I'm not trying to put too much highlight. Highlighting is when you try and um, put lighter parts of, of her face. We're basically trying to create dimensions as we did, we did on the other side. There's contouring, then there's the highlight here. So basically, we're not trying to create a flat face, but a more lively face. Because a lot of the times when people put makeup, it looks flat and it doesn't look like it's got enough life. Basically, just look like a, you know, some sort of a doll. So now I'm going to apply the setting powder. Okay. Where I highlighted her face. Okay. Then I'm going to highlight her chin as well. I'm going to blend that in. I'm gonna also apply setting powder as well to set my concealer as I did on the other half of the face. I'm gonna do the same thing on her forehead. There we go, just applying a little bit. We don't wanna put too much product. I'm always emphasizing that. Then I'm gonna dab, dab, dab. You just need a beauty blender. If you've got a beauty blender, you're good to go. It just sinks everything in. There we go. And we're just gonna go ahead and apply setting powder there as well. As we did on the other side of the face. So basically it just looks messy, but I'm gonna let it sit there for a little bit and continue with my eyeshadow. Sorry about that. I'm gonna go in with the black color from my MAC palette. This one over here. And then I'm gonna use this blending brush over here. So I'm using this smaller blending brush because I want it to focus on the area that I want the black to be seen. I don't want the black going everywhere else. Hoping you can see it. All right. Blend, blend a little bit and yeah, done with this color. Now I'm gonna go in with my Morphe palette. I'm gonna go in with this lovely gold color. Then I'm gonna lightly pack it on her lid. Going a little bit high, but not too high. There we go. It looks so pretty. There we go, we are almost done. So I'm just gonna put some highlight on her nose, on the tip of her nose to make it look cute. Then I'm gonna put it in between her eyes over here. Right, and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take that color then yeah, I'm just gonna do this and then lightly just 
on her cheek bone over here. Pack the color. Right? Right. And then I'm gonna put some over here as well. I kind of did it on the other side of the face. I'm gonna take the same and put it below the brow bone over here. Like I did again on the other side of her face. Like that. And then I'm just gonna put it on the chin as well. Forehead, chin, and voila! Lastly, what we're gonna do is put some setting spray. Just spray it up. Ah, oh, there we go. Here is her look. So I was just basically going for like a more natural look. And I'm just gonna include the teardrops over here. Okay, so this is my final look. Rumbo, how are you feeling? I feel amazing. Uh-huh. Yeah. So now you know how to transform a basic face into a vava voom face. That was Kim Eleanor's touch and that closes off our second segment. Now you can add a bit of highlighter to your look. You can add contouring, you can add, you know, uh, ombre lip. Now we know there are different and many styles to makeup. It's not just the usual, what we used to do back in the day. Patango isa lipstick, yakango daro, kanango dino, eyeshadow, yakango daro. Try out different things, look different and stay tuned to the third segment. Welcome back to our third and final segment. And now the tutorial is all done. We're still here with Kim, Eleanor's touch, and Ruby, our beautiful model. Do tell us, how do you feel? How does your face feel right now? My face feels amazing. It's not like a lot of the other products people use and it feels like something is sitting on your face. Like mm -hmm. it just feels so light and so, yeah, it feels amazing. And you saw yourself on the mirror. Where do yes. you think you can drop this look? Like, where would you go? Um, I think a really nice uh, lunch out with the girls. Um, yeah, definitely. Would you go to church? Like yes! Okay. Oh, yes! <laughs> Just checking! Definitely. 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 Uh -huh. like that, yeah. So, Kim, briefly explain to us the look that you did on, on Ruby. Okay, so what I did on her face was like a nice, flattering look. Um, like I said earlier, it'll be nice at a wedding. Um, lunch, like what she said. I tried to make her look natural, but yet, you know, Slaying at the same time, still bring out her little character because this is how she is, bright and bubbly on the inside, and then show it on the face because that's what art does. Mm. So, yeah. Wow, yeah. And, beautiful! And you did such a good job. Thank you. <laughs> okay, you guys are just having a loving moment right now. Ah, <laughs> uh, we'll just cut that. <laughs> but um, so what are your goals moving on from now on? Uh, you've done my face, you've done Ruby's mm. face, you've done so many other people's faces. But what does the future spell for Kim Eleanor? Well, um, my goal is basically, I can't say your goal, I just want to take the world, you know what I mean? <laughs> like, I don't want to necessarily say if I do this, that's it, but wherever God takes me is where I will get to, you know? And also I want to you know, venture into special effects, that's what I'm looking at, I want to, you know, do Cinderella, like, you know, um, I don't know, sci-fi as well, exactly. Tapa, you know, um, William Shakespeare Tapa dramas. I'd, lo I'd love to be the one who, you know, makes sure those people, you know, look good on stage. And then also, um, basically, if you want to look like a man, I want to be your person. If you want to look like a dog, I want to be your person. You know, no restrictions. Mm -hmm. So yeah, so no restrictions. Yeah. So in any family, in any song, when I do makeup, I get dressed for moon. You don't want to feel I'm cut my hair, I'm moving my hair. So, Mama, can I you know, we've been fearful and wonderfully made by God, so we should not be afraid to, you know, wear that little dress we think looks cute, do whatever, and just make sure you're still a little bit confident. So, yeah, 
So Kim, what's your advice to upcoming artists? Because there's someone sitting at home right now looking at my face and it's very glam, it's very fancy. And then we also have Rubimbo's face, more subtle, more normal to go to church or for weddings, you know? How do you, you know, differentiate the two looks? What advice could you give someone? All right, so clearly, looking at both of these faces, this is a more natural, subtle, it's still glam, but it's subtle, it's something that you're able to do in your own room and you're able to do it in a significant amount of time, you know? But on the other hand, Valerie, it's more glam. It's something that you need, you know, someone like me to come do it for you, you know, professional makeup. And you can't go to the store with this makeup. But this is something that you would like to do on a day to day. But if you want to go for events if you, and if you want to wow the crowd, definitely you go with this face and you go people like me. For upcoming makeup artists, I want to say one thing. Two people can do people's faces, right? Separately. But what's going to make a difference is, is your heart going to be written all over that face? So basically, for me, it's a passion. It's something that I sometimes don't even need to try or need to force myself to do. But it's something that I naturally love. You know, you're trying to put a price or whatever. People don't really understand the different stages because makeup has evolved from just foundation and eyeliner. There's so many things that are included now. So you really have to just strive to show people but if it's something that you love, you will show them and you will experience you know, less and less challenges. I started from a salon, like a small little salon, and I was doing the clients' faces for free or whatever I can do. And from that, people weren't really so sure of me, but I feel like from there I had my first client and I remember putting that first food in church and from there it just took off. You know, bit by bit, you know, I started doing like for free. Basically, when you're starting out, you have to do it for free for most of the time. And therefore, my advice to you who's at home and who also wants to be a makeup artist, or whatever it is that you want to do is have it from the heart. If there's heart first, money will follow. Well, that was it. This closes off our show. And as Kim said, you know, you know, you want to feel good as a woman because you're fearfully and wonderfully made. So feel free to accentuate your natural features that God gave you. It's Kamala Mayezi out there. Humele usle. You know, Jenny Suguti. We are Zitanda. We are Zgracha. So until next time, Kim and Ruby, we say bye. Bye.